Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome to Daylight, an actual AAA horror game that a lot of people have been eagerly awaiting. Now I apologize in advance, my voice is a little bit tender today, so I have to do this in a more somber, quiet, calm tone as opposed to my normal, very shouty and bombastic self. But either way, I am eagerly anticipating- Oh, no, not a spider. God, you've arrived. Sarah, yes. Focus. Okay. Much time at all. My name is Mark. They certainly have. Use that machine in your hand to find your way. Okay. There's much to see, much to learn. Much to learn. Where am I? Indeed, where am I? It's been oh. some time now. Ah. This place has been waiting for your arrival. Gather up everything you can. The memories contained within these walls are waiting to be found. Okay. Sarah, <laughs> listen to me. You must Come on, I'm trying succeed. to read here. Okay, Prisoner 52 seems to be experiencing visions of shadow people. Doctors on site keep trying conventional therapies, but I believe we need to start thinking about new procedures that push what we've come up with with to date. Oh no. Oh, ew. <laughs> Was that just sitting there in that wheelchair? That's mildly disturbing. Okay, so Daylight is actually a procedurally generated game that is supposedly random in the events, maybe not in the layout. Wait, what? That didn't make any sense. There I go where I am. I am exactly where I am and I am who I am, but I don't know. Oh no, I've gone cross-eyed. Mid-Island Penitentiary has recently announced the name of its new head physician, Dr. Walter Mercer. Known as a leader in both smallpox and tuberculosis research, the city of New Kipling has expressed its excitement in having a talented and passionate recruit on board and ready to do battle for the health of its citizens. Is that Dr. Mercer? Wasn't there a Dr. Mercer in the, uh, Outlast Asylum? Why is there a mushroom sitting on that bed over there? Okay. Use the light to find the answers. It will tell you where to look. Ooh, I found a lot of glow sticks. Use glow sticks to search deeper. How much deeper are we talking about here? Can I carry up to a maximum? Ooh, wow. I got so many. Oh, hello. So, now we're going to start. Okay, that's glowing. That's a little weird. Patient, aged 10 months old, has re-admitted by her foster parents due to audience and frightening incidents that occurred shortly after she left the hospital. Oh. Well, cool tats, bro. Burn into your flesh. Don't let them see. Yeah, but why are they burning into my flesh? That is exactly what I'm trying to find out here, because things seem to be a little bit odd, if you know what I mean. Anyway, so the game is procedurally generated up to a- Oh! Hi! Um... Hello? Why were you there? I'm trying to be a bit more easy on my voice, so if you could not... Okay. Alright. I'm- excuse me, I'm trying to be a little bit more tender on my voice. What the hell is happening? Could you not? I may have to just give up all anticipation of trying to be quiet because I got my microphone set up a little bit higher volume here, so if I scream it's gonna blow everything out. And I don't aim to scream and destroy all your eardrums, so I gotta try to remain reserved. Okay, whoa! What the- Oh, that's paint on the ceiling. I thought that was arms dripping down. Well, okay. That was weird. But was there any point in coming in here? Okay... I guess not. Well, I'll just carry on my way then. Hello, creepy painting of a little girl. A sugar, 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 sugar. Squeak! Was that me screaming like a little girl? I am. Okay. What the hell was that? Once a small fishing villa in New Kipling. I'm gonna give up. I'm gonna go back to my normal. I'm gonna go back to my normal stuff because this is gonna get loud. I know it. Once a fishing villa in New Kipling blossomed into a prosperous town full of eager and optimistic people. The town facing overpopulation and limited resources looked to other options to sustain its people. Well then. Alrighty. Oh my god. What was that? What was what? I didn't see any. Excuse me. Why did that go away? What's happening? What's going on? I don't much care for this. If you want to stop being a douche any time, I would really appreciate it. Ugh. This game give me the heebie-jeebies awfully early on into my playthrough here. Why is there a dresser with a mirror on it? What? Why? Once again, I need to reiterate that I've never played this game before and- Oh, there's a brain. What? I didn't find anything. You didn't give me anything. Well, why is that spinning on there? Oh, is that following me? That's kind of weird. You don't have eyes or anything, so it's not really that bad, I guess. 
Okay. Okay. Okay, I hear something. My phone's going all wibbly wobbly. Or this machine in my. Wanna run that by me again, douche? Shut! There's something there! There was something there! You can't tell me there wasn't! I know what I saw. They were in flames, Sarah. Use it to your advantage. They will not harm you if you do. What flames? Oh, I got a flare. Can I get more flares? What? What's gonna harm me? Please tell me. I would like to know. Something bad's gonna happen. Something bad's gonna happen to my butt. Okie dokie. Uh, Dr. Watkins recommended removal of all possessions from the patient's room as a means of curing her fantasies. The patient became violent during the extraction. She seemed particularly fixated on an old doll and cried for days after its removal. Maybe it was... Maybe it was her baby. And maybe I don't much appreciate all this stuff happening. You get out of here with this noise. You get out of here with this odd noise. What the, wait, what? What do I... Wait, there was something I could use. What the, was it? Oh. Oh, the door. Ooh, a swirly mist. Someone left after going to the bathroom. What are they again? The Puritan Church of New Clippling announced that a dark time had engulfed the town, prompting some inhabitants to flee in fear for their lives. In order to keep the peace, the local church and town elders instated mandatory church attendance laws. That doesn't seem very nice. What is that? I heard something! I heard something! What the hell do I hear? Ugh. Okay. Alrighty then. Shut the f up! No, oh, there's a thingy! I know there's a thingy, I saw the thingy! Ooh. Okay. Come on, bring it on! I'm just too tough for you. God. You know, I was originally worried that this would be a lot like Outlast, but this is actually a very different experience. I mean, besides the holding up of a thing to. Oh, there's something in there. Hello? No? No one's sitting on the toilet trying to scare me? No? Okay. A sugar, sugar, sugar. Alright. So, oh, there, there is a tiny... Wait, what? No! I wasn't done with that! Or maybe it just ran out. I don't know. Oh god, I thought that was something. Those, those lights look like I... Watch, wash the poop deck? Wash the lift deck. What did you... You're gonna get me? Who's gonna get me? <laughs> I don't know what you're gonna get, but please don't let it be me. Okay, another bathroom. Why? Why am I in these bathrooms? What was that? What was that? God, I don't even know what I hear. It's always- it's always interesting to have a new horror game because they always like to throw different things at you and you don't know what to expect. I mean, with the, most of the indie horror games that I play, it's often times that, uh, things go off and get, uh, rather similar, so... It's good to have a fresh approach, I guess. Okay, so... I guess over here. Did I not go over here? No, it was all stopped up. Well, where do I go? I'm a little bit lost. I can't. Okay, map. Okay, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Okay, so it looks like there was actually an open door over here on the right. So if I go over here. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right, come on. Come on, bring it on. I'm ready for you. I'm with it. Hi. That church, or <laughs> that church, that chair just fixed itself. All right. So these... Patient, age 7, has been experiencing a fear of monsters in a room at night. A night shift nurse consoled by the patient by reaffirming it was only in her imagination. The patient has subsequently began exhibiting uncontrollable violence toward herself and staff members. Patient has been restrained and transported to solitary confinement. Okay. Alright. I'm starting to relax a bit. They haven't actually thrown anything at me except for that beginning part. And now the music is climbing! Wait a minute, were those three separate things? Why are the th why are the strings climbing up? Glow stick. Ah, I see it. Ah. I feel the sigil. Reclaim it and bring it to the gateway. What? Do what now with what? I think I saw that thing you were talking about the other day. I don't know what the hell it is, but it ain't a person. It just stared at me, and then it disappeared. I shine my light on it. Billy says I was seeing shadows, but I know what I saw. Something's not right here. I'm putting a transfer request. Okay, what's with the strings? You're being a douche to me. I don't much appreciate it. Okay, there we go. I heard that. Shut up. I don't want none of it. Shut up. Okay. Shut up. I don't want none 
can I use this please? Thank you. I'm done with this hospital. I ain't dealing with this crap anymore. I saw something down in that boil room, and one of the orderlies saw it too. It ain't right, and I'm not staying here to find out its intentions. Well, I guess I am. Hello, wheelchair. Uh, just sitting oddly in the middle of nothing. Okay. What am I doing? There's something going on down here in the boil room. I keep hearing things moving around while I'm cleaning. I swear it's rats. It's something bigger. I don't know what yet, but keep an eye out while you're down here. Okay. Oh, hi! What is that? Is that what I need? Oh, God. No. Huh? No! Who's that? Do I want that? Do I want or not want to touch that? I'm gonna touch it. There's gotta be a key. There's gotta be a key? What are you talking about? Oh, that's the locked door. That's the sigil you was talking about that I need to bring them. Anybody there? No! Don't say that! Don't say that! Why would you say that? You're a moron! <laughs> Whatever. 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 Oh, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? I'm so I am sorry! Okay. Cool. That's good. I like that. That was good. Let's never do that again. What is going on here? I don't know. Shut up! Shut up! Okay, okay, come on. There's gotta be a key. That's what she said. There's gotta be a key somewhere. There's gotta be another place I can open. This looks like a- oh, this is a door frame. God, what do I do? Oh, okay, here, here, here. I haven't been here before. Okay. Alright, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Oh, that fixed itself again. Wait, I have been here before. Oh, this is very the same. Wait a minute. Patient is physically healthy but deteriorating mentally. He remains in a straitjacket under constant observation. Patient continually yells at the maze's never ending screams continue throughout all day and hour and night, ranging from low monotone chants to fever die bitch owls. Electric shop therapy has been scheduled for tomorrow morning. Well, good. That always works better. Okay, found a glow stick. I got glow sticks. That's good for me, but not good for many other people. Okay. The tats on my arm seem to be getting a bit stronger! Shut! Your mouth! I don't want to hear none of it. I don't want to open that door! Oh, good for me! Oh, this is good! Oh, this is great! Why? Eh? Creepy? It began with infection. Huh? A black veil of sickness and huh? disease and despair. Huh? Sudden and swift. Is this the key? Is this the key I need? Is this the key? I don't have a glow gl stick. Okay! That's bad! Oh no! Oh no, 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 no! Oh, you don't do this to me! Can it be? Can it be what? Why do you sound so I cheerful? See you. See you! Oh, that's bad! Oh, that's bad! What happened? Oh my god, I went insane for a little bit. Good. Great googly moogly. I'm gonna assume that this is a key and I'm gonna unlock the- Oh, I can't move. I can't move! Oh, I got stuck on a chair. I'm an idiot. Alright. I got the key. You can't beat me with my teddy bear. A little teddy. Why do I keep throwing that up to my face like that? Okie dokie. Key, key, key. I got it! I'm a winner! Yeah! That's more like it. Oh, wait a minute. I'm not done. Oh, I thought I would've- Okay. Wait a minute. Saving content. Why? Where? How? Who? What? What is going on? What is going on? What is going on? I don't know! What is happening? Where am I? I guess I'm continuing on. Last night, approximately 7pm, the power went off in this section of this facility. Due to unfortunate timing, we were unable to transfer a critical patient to the emergency department, and he passed away in transit, in the hallway behind the room, records room security door. 
Records room. To avoid this type of tragedy in the future, the hospital has decided that non-maintenance staff should be aware that the security door will not operate when the power is out. You must reset the breaker before using the door. Please familiarize yourself with the power switch location within the records room stacks. I guess that's what I need to do now because there's no other reason why you would tell me that. Okay. Okay. Oh, we understand that it's difficult to make it outside on your 10 minute breaks. However, just because the records room is large and has high ceilings does not mean you can move things about to create a satellite break room for smoking. We have caught several staff members moving supply crates, stacking them precariously and climbing out over the serve lookout. Be advised, this is not gym equipment. Climbing on crates of medical supplies will not be tolerated. Oh, that's another clue what I need to do, I guess. I need to stack stuff to where to go where I need to go. <sighs> Shut. Oh, hi. Hello, lady. You, uh, look tired. Ah, another note. Miss Daniels was found dead in her staff quarters this morning. There was a suicide note indicating she was extremely unhappy at the work and in her personal life. Personal on-site state she died from rapid butt loss from... Rapid butt loss. From self-inflicted lacerations on her wrists. Her body was found sitting in a wheelchair. Pending a police investigation, Miss Daniels' body was transported to the morgue. This is eerily similar to the other instances. Dot, dot, dot. Other instances of what? God damn it, another note! Mid Island Hospital was one of the most logically influ locally influenced and medically profound places in our city's history. Yet few people know of how important its presence had been. From treating smallpox in the 1850s to contributing to tuberculosis research in more recent years, the hospital has done much to benefit citizens of New Kipling. Even its brief and failed attempt at reopening as a penitentiary helped keep our citizens safe. Huh. <sighs> Can I get a little brief moment without notes? The notes are getting hard to read here. Oh god, it's another note! You read this one. Oh, Kipling citizens accused. Crimes. 16-year-old Gh. Loud to live. Admits guilt. Est condemned to hang. Evil. Hospita. Open to deal with. Spread of disease. Really now? I get- Stop! Stop! I saw you said they didn't like fire! I can't move! Much pain and suffering. Okay. Okay. Alrighty then. What ails you, Sarah? Uh, this note. While on nightly rounds, Nurse Moriarty knows his patient 90D standing in his room in an agitated state. The nurse claimed the man was beating his face against the mesh of protected glass. She screamed for help, and by the time we arrived, the patient's face was completely covered in blood, and he was raving about the faces in the dark. The patient was quickly subdued and taken to the infirmary, where the attending physician reported he would likely lose both eyes. The patient did not seem bothered by this, recommending transfer to Dr. Mercer's care. Perhaps truth. Barely pure. Never simple. Okay. God, another note! Ah, psychiatric ward report. Patient have taken their pills and are all settled in after evening meals. Dyer refuses to check on patient 90D after the incident. He spat blood all over and yelled some gibberish about casting a spell. Today is my first day observing patient 90D. He seemed high strung and ready to snap, except, except towards Patrice. She is oddly special to him. Okie dokie. Who's Patrice? Some objects can be climbed, boxes with ropes can be moved. Okay. I want to move it. Okay, I climbed it instead. Alrighty then. Okay, so I need to move it over there. Oh, I see. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, let go. Stop humping the box and get over it. Get up it. Okie dokie, that was really slow, but okay. We need a bit more, uh, pep in your step if we're gonna be surviving this apocalypse. Boop -a -doop. Yeah, that was good. I'm glad I did that. Let me out of the dark make you feel better. Yes. Well, it shouldn't. No. Why? Why shouldn't it? Can't climb that, apparently. Okay, this box is over there. Do I need to stack up to go over there? Or I'm assuming I just need to go back. Okay, whatever. Eh. Ah! Okay. Okay, let go of the box. Jesus. Jeepers, creepers, person. Okay, so I can't move it this way or what? What is your deal? Wait, maybe I- Oh, maybe I just need to move it over here? God, I have no idea what it wants me to do. Climb it! Climb it! Go over there! Climb that! Thank you. So, when am I gonna get out of here? That's what I wanna know. When am I ever gonna escape this hell? Jump. Whee! Okay. 
So, oh, I'm back in the beginning. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. Boop a doop. Yay! I'm free. I'm gonna escape now, right? This is where I go home. Right. Right. Glow stick. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Shut up! No! 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 Oh, there was another note back there, I think. I'll read it. I've read every other one. Oh, so there's a picture. Oh, okay. Well, that's good, I guess. You know your bonds transcend time and matter. Okay. What does that mean? Can you explain that to me? What are you talking about? Uh... Okay! Why am I here? What is going on? How do I get out of this place? Oh, I gotta find more remnants! Ah! Uh, haven't I been here before? <sighs> Patient suffers from hoarding problem. Frequently hiding items she can get her hands on. Patient has been observed clutching objects and mumbling to herself in nonsense phrases described by the staff as disturbing. Am I this her and she that they keep talking about? Am I the lady? Am I the lady? I am the lady, aren't I? I saw someone down in the boiling room tonight. Bastard made me nearly jump out of my skin. Ran off before I could get a good look at them, though. Nobody but me and Adam should be down there, so it better not be one of the orderlies scoping out a spot to put the moves on one of them nurses. Just make sure people are doing their job and not screwing around in my boiler room. Weren't you the guy that just said about all the crap that's been going on? What? Open! Thank you. Here. Okay. Nothing. I'm gonna assume that it's nothing until something actually happens to me. Because so far, it's just been a whole lot of nothing. So I'm not exactly worried about it if it's a whole lot of nothing. Anybody? Is there anybody? You're a something. Are you a real something or are you just gonna go away? Huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. Ah, it's real! Ah, it's real! It's real! Clear! Suck on that! Aha! I got the power of the light! You run away from the power of my flare! Okay. Alright, I guess I gotta go up or down. No said something about a boiler room, so I'm gonna go downstairs and try to find it, I guess. Everybody stay back! I'm very dangerous. What the? There's nothing here. It's just dead ends. Wait a minute, hang on. Let me switch to my, uh... Ooh, I got my flare back. Cool. Um... Well, that sounds gross, but what's the point of coming down here, then? I guess nothing, then. Maybe it was just lying about- What the hell? Was that a footprint on the ceiling? I mean, now I go upstairs. That's the only other way I can go, I guess. Is anybody home here? Come on! Bring it on! I want to see some big scares! Big scares! Bring it on! You've just been little piddly scares. Little itty bitty, not threatening scares. I want to see more. I want to see more! I'm tough! Patient inexplicably died overnight. Body was discovered by the nurse this morning in preparation for electroshock therapy. Body was transported to the morgue. Cremation scheduled for this evening. No kin to notify. Come on! I want to see more! What was that? What was that? Okay. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. So this new citizen, or the citizen of New Kipling begun performing spirit cleansing rituals on a nearby mid-island in order to keep their town pure from the dark time. Little factual evidence has been discovered about the nature of these rituals, but after the cleansing took place, New Kipling announced that the city had been reborn. Good for it! Oh, I thought that was a thing on the wall I could use. Okay. Ah! Ah! It's a thing! No, 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 no! Ah! It's like my f Oh, you're gone. All right, then. I'm gonna save my flare. Don't ask me how I'm saving my flare, but I am. All right. Left is best. Shut up. Do that. Things are getting a little weirder now. Things are getting a little. What is that? Oh, it's a house in the woods. All right. There's a lot of rooms with nothing in them. 
I'm sorry. I apologize for nothing. Okay. Nurse Foster has complained that orderly William Ferris disappears for hours at a time during shifts. And when he finally shows up, his hands and the knees of his pants are as dirty as though he's been out digging in the dirt. When she asks him about it, he seems confused and asks where he can bathe. This is the fourth complaint in two weeks about Farish, and I thought the matter should be escalated to you. Farish seems like he's doing a little night reconnaissance when he shouldn't be. Or he's getting freaky with those nurses out in the dirt. He gets so dirty he needs to go and bathe, huh? Is that how this works? Come on! I feel like I'm running in circles here! There's nothing here! There's nothing no! No! No, you're a dirty lie! Yeah, that's what I thought. Dirty lie. Maybe you've been rolling around in the dirt. Damn it. Ugh. So much time of finding nothing. Give me something! Flare. God, I got another flare. Good. Now those shadow thingies, whatever the hell they are, can't touch me. I can't see a thing. I can see plenty of things! You're nothing! You're nothing! You're nothing! You're nothing! You're nothing! You're nothing! You're a whole lot of nothing. God, I found a whole lot of nothing! This place is just an endless maze of repeating corridors! God, what am I supposed to find?! What am I supposed to find?! Okay, that was weird. Where are you? Where are who? Oh, I thought there was gonna be someone in that chair. Wait, what? Where did they go? Why does that keep sounding like that? Or why does that sound keep following me? Okay. All right, come on. Oh, nothing's actually been happening. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This sound. This looks like it's something. Wait, what? Oh, come on, no! Oh, I need to find another remnant before I can go there. God dang it, damn it! Shut up. Shut up, it's not true! I'm not one of you! I'm not crazy. You're crazy for thinking I'm crazy. I can see anything. I can see plenty of things, Sarah. Sarah, if you could just get off your ass and start doing some work here. Maybe we could get to where we need to go. Okay, now we found the locked door. God, I just need one more remnant. One remnant. Oh, it's empty! You sons of bitches, stop messing with me! God, nothing dead end! I keep finding dead ends and nothingness! I'm on my last glow stick, guys. If I don't find anything now, I'm gonna be kinda screwed. Uh, I gotta go down. Oh, no way, I can go this way. I don't wanna go to- Oh, remnant! I got it! Yes! They will haunt you, patient 27C. Suffers from an obsession with mazes. Having run out of space, patient turned on himself, carving an elaborate maze into his own flesh, completely enveloping in his chest, part of his back, up forearms, upper arms, and even upper thighs, and even his buttocks and genitals. Patient restrained via straitjacket, placed in solitary goodbye. Ah, fucking goddammit! Ah, no flare! I'm doing it! You son of a bitch! I am not gonna forgive you for that one. Oh. Oh! Okay, I gotta go to the room, get the teddy bear! Get the teddy bear! Get the thingy! Yes, please! Thank you! Gimme, give gimme, give gimme! Give Knife! Okay. They will be afflicted to this place where you stand. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You got it, bro! You got it, bro! You get out of here! You stay away from me! I got a place I need to go! At least Sarah doesn't run out of sprint juice! Looks like Sarah's been running a bit in her time! Uh, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it! <sighs> Ta-da! Da-da-da-da-da-da! Okay. Oh, I found glow sticks. Okay. Let's just take a breather here. Let's stop up for a second. Catch my breath. Man! I think I'm gonna stop this episode here, but good god! Oh, this game isn't about, like, the, the thing I like about this game, and, and a lot of people, you know, will, might, may agree with me or disagree with me. This game, it 
doesn't just constantly throw stuff at you. It constantly made me think something was about to happen. Like there'd be all these little things that were happening. And I was like, it's gonna turn into something big. Because with all my experience with my indie games, like there's always like something small is something big. That's always what it is. But this thing has pacing, and it's really cool to see that actually be portrayed correctly in a game. So I am very excited to be playing this game. But this game is designed to be played via live stream. And I'm not joking about that. It can integrate with my Twitch, and that way it goes to the chat of the Twitch channel that I'm using, and you guys can mess with me. There's specific commands that you can use to mess with someone who's playing it live. And I want you guys to have that experience, but I don't know if you want me to play the series on my YouTube channel, or do live stream and, and take highlights from that, and then put them on the channel later. So I need your help on this one, guys. I need you to help me decide what to do. If you guys want me to do a live stream, which is kind of what I want to do, leave a like down below to let me know or write in the comments to tell me what you guys want. So this is really up to you, because I could do just a normal series of this on YouTube, but I'd really rather get you guys involved with it. So let me know. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the annotation for more horror games that I've done. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Very well.